Hey crafty friends, welcome back to my channel, it's Marissa. Today I have a little tutorial on how to put together this lemonade card from Scrap Diva Designs that will be available May 1st. I am hooked on it. I think it's my favorite. I think it tops all of them. Um, I, this is probably going to be my third one. I will share at the end of the video the other two. I shared the B one, but I made another one. Um, and I just wanted to do a video showing how I put it together. I do have all most of the pieces cut out. Um, I don't have the little tires, but I'll have them um, at the end. But I do have our little base here. The oh, This is the little roof part, and it comes with each. It cuts out three at a time, so that's nice. It saves you time. And you get two of them, so you can cut them out all at once. And then your roof part and then you have your two side panels and then your um two other little um panels that will be for the front and back and then you have the little handlebar here and this is where you'll glue your um it has these little um score lines that you fold and this is in between where you'll put your um straw or um little stick whatever you feel um, like using and then of course your little side scalloped shapes and I only cut one out um, or I cut two out but I can't find the other one so I'll have to cut it out again anyways I'm just gonna do a quick little um, video on how I put it together so let's jump in Now, I think everybody's probably going to do a little bit different, but I'm just doing it the way it works for me. Just lining up my panels here. And this goes fast. This one's going to be a little bit on the thin side. My paper's thinner. I think 110 pound cardstock will be great. Now, also, I want to say that if you want to do some stitching, you probably should do it before you do any um, gluing down obviously and also um, there doesn't come any layering pieces um, so if you wanted to you could cut out the shape and then cut right inside each score line and that would give you a little layering but I have a different idea also I meant to say and I don't think I talked about it in the other one is that these little panels fit inside embossing folder so if you wanted to take your panel and run it through an embossing folder to give it more texture it would be like easy to do because the panels are small so they'll fit inside the folders and it'll be pretty like if you want to do a flower cart you could definitely um do that so it comes together really easy you guys So my structure is all put together here. Next, I'm going to jump on to working on the roof. And I start um, from the outside in because it works uh, that way. It gives you an equal amount as opposed to like sometimes starting in the middle. And I think that you'll also, if you want to do some stitching before, you could stitch these or all the way around it'd be easy to stitch or you could wait till you glue it down um, I don't think either is a problem it's just gonna depend if you want the stitching to be viewed because a little bit of the roof does come out oh look at that I'm already messing up you guys oh my goodness no oh man it's okay I'm gonna ink this up so it'll look kind of cool or maybe I'll just add a flower there <laughs> and make sure it's, e oh my God, I'm going to be yapping and messing up the whole time, you guys. Okay. The other thing I wanted to mention is that when you glue down, you cover the score line. So if you have a scoreboard, it probably works. I just kind of eyeball it and kind of try to create like a little bit of the crease there so that when I fold it it has a little bit of way like give you know because it can fold I think when I the first time I did it, I tried to fold it and it just didn't work for me there we go see but if you have the scoreboard mine's on the other side and I didn't want to get it that will 
work there. So look at that, you guys, so cute. So next you're just gonna take it. And this is where I kind of eyeballed it. I just kind of kept it on one side and tried to make sure that I had an even take there because it's kind of, there isn't any guiding line. So I just kind of eyeball where I want it to lay down. And so I add a little bit of glue on both sides. Now they might do it different and do it standing up. This just is what worked for me. And by they, I mean the rest of the team because everybody is already making the cutest things. Oh my gosh. I went to bed late last night and played around with this one. I'm just gonna wait to share it. Oh, see what I mean? Okay. So I think there's a good, I don't know if you guys can see, it's kind of even hand and then I'm just gonna stick my hand right in there to kind of push it down and make sure it's glued down and then I'm gonna add glue to the other side and bring the other one down like that so we're just gonna do that very quickly and then it's just to decorate Ooh. and this is where the fun part is because you can add whatever you want Oh man, this one's already coming undone. Eee, I'm gonna have to add more glue. So just make sure you're straight there so it's not a little lopsided. And that one's, oh, just be careful <laughs> with your hands. Uh, okay. Okay, now I'm gonna flip it over like this. And I see where I want it to be. And I can now start pushing it down and make sure this one's pushed down too and then I can do this one all done okay so there we have it now this one here is just gonna slide right underneath here and you're just gonna glue it to where it sits it fits nicely right at the edge okay and now the other thing that i was talking about was create having it sit oh my goodness like this so that you can like bring things inside of it instead of sitting on top of it so you make it like a little box like this but you'll line it up with this line here like this so let me bring it down so this is what i was saying i don't know if you guys can see that so this one I am going to glue it like this because I do want to make it like a cute little box where things will sit inside of it because I have um, some stuff I want to put in there, which will be so cute. So now I just got to add my glue. So I don't know if that made sense. So normally this is the top. Where's my other one? So on this one here, as you can see, I brought the little um, piece up here and it's turned inside out. So instead of lay lining it up here to create the box like I did with this one, I actually flipped it over and it's the flat side is lining up right to this line here, this line here, as you can see. And so I was able to add that little sticker, I mean not sticker, but the fussy cut out the flower and layer it there as you guys can see. So for this one, I'm gonna do the opposite because I want to make, put stuff inside of it. So my glue is going to be added here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to squeeze it in there. And then I'm just going to hold it. Now I'm just gonna add some glue here. And then I'm going to slowly bring it up and line it up here like this. There we go. And you see that lines up nicely right there. Okay, so we have our little box in there and I'm gonna put my little diamond dot little bits there. But I wanna add, show you guys, this is just gonna go straight across here, which I am gonna do on both sides. And I need to add the wheel, so I'll show you guys that at the end there. It is so cute. You guys, I am hooked on this one. I think this is my favorite. You guys are probably gonna see a million one. A million in one. <laughs> I'm gonna make a few more. I have another one I need to finish up to share, which I'll probably 
show at the end of this video. I am hooked. I need to play with the other ones. I just love this one. This one's so cute. And it's so easy to put together, like super fast to make. It doesn't take a long time. Look at that, already done. Okay, and then I wanna show you how you're gonna lay this down first and then you're going to layer this on top. So actually what I did first was I did a little line across here like this. And then I brought this guy here. Now you can do it either way. I like doing it um, like this. I think I did this one, right? No, this one I did upside down, going this way. And so you're just gonna line it up. Sorry, I keep getting out of frame. Line it up right there, as you can see, nicely. Eee. Okay. So that's glued. Then you take this part and you're gonna glue this onto that piece here like this. Right down the middle, let me find it right here. Okay, so that's done there. And it, and then you'll add your straw. So I need to go find a straw that's gonna be cute in the center of this. And so you'll put your straw right here. You'll just cut it down to the size. I just eyeballed is what I did with this one. And I also added an extra piece in here just to make it a little bit thicker and sturdier. But now I can take my cute little containers and I can put, how many can we fit in here, I wonder. Let's see how many I can fit in here. Oh, I think eight are gonna fit comfortably in here. Yep, eight will fit in here. How cute is this? And you can send diamond dots with the colors that match or even other little things. You could probably even put like a little box in here. Look at this, how cute. Eight of them fit in there, you guys. Can you see that? And then I'm gonna put little flowers on top. I could do this, look at this, little flowers on top. Oh my gosh, stop. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm back with the finished product, like I said I would at the end of the video. Um, I meant to show a little bit more, but my daughter kind of got me um, away from the room and then I didn't come back for several hours. So I completely forgot where I was at. <laughs> oh my God, anyways, let's jump in. So you guys had seen this one and I talked about this one on the reveal um, album, or not album, video, sorry. And I showed you guys how to put together this one, but I didn't show you guys how I added all the stuff. And I apologize for that because I totally had all the intention of showing me gluing stuff down. And um, yeah, I spaced on that. I am so sorry. So what I did do was I pulled out the lemon the little lemon shakers i use the word lemonade from here as well as some of the sliced and circle lemons to add around as well as the strawberry that is a die set that i have in my stash um that i've had for a while but i did add the little coins as well and those come from um, the kit itself it comes included with the cart so if you want to add the little coins like i did here and here it's a perfect little um idea to add in there i did add a little rhinestone to the wheel which i did come back and add and i just glued it down i just made sure that you know it lined up right at the bottom i kind of try to eyeball to make sure that i'm with the same distance but i think this one's sticking out just a little bit more which is okay and then the fresh picked in strawberry lemonade uh, strawberry come from her strawberry words from her mini album that she had last year i think it was last year or the year before so I definitely pulled those out to use and I, I just love the way it turned out. The Kept it with the just red, yellow, and green. And then on the other side, I added more of the little lemons and the strawberries in here as well. And I added washi tape there. And then I put these little pieces here, one there and one there. So it turned out so cute. I don't know what I'm gonna put inside it yet. I haven't decided. I'm probably gonna put some of those lemon shakers, but I also think I should get the strawberry shaker that Erica has. Now, the one that I had been working on two nights ago on Friday night is this one. I started this one, and what I did was, I had been on Pinterest and I wanted to share, um, 
I wanted to create a little flower stand because I had been looking for like ideas for the carts to decorate it because Pinterest is my go-to for ideas and inspiration as well as on um, IG. But I saw all these real live you know, flower carts. And so I love the idea of the black and white stripe. So I did that. And then I took wooden paper, like type of paper. And I want to say I still have it. Out. So this is Miss Sparkle. It's from Joann's. And it comes with a variety of colored wood grain paper. I don't know if you guys nabbed it when it was available. I created, I took this piece here and I cut it out. Now I cut it shorter by taking the the length of this piece and then running it again with the same um, die cut piece but cutting it off here so that it would be this um, shape and since I'm making it shorter uh, the other side didn't get touched by the die itself so I was able to match the round and I didn't have to cut it by hand and it worked out perfectly I don't know if I'm explaining myself and then I added stickers. The stickers come from the Garden Party sticker book. There's a set of um, alphabets in here. And so I just used those. And the way I did the panels here is I took this die set and just laid them across all the way around. And it literally took cutting it out like three or four times and that was it because you're cutting out so many um, at one time or three at a time or six if you do them twice so it it was fairly quick to cut out and then there was space left here because it was literally just putting it across and since there was space I took a half inch piece of black paper and I scored it down the middle which is like what is it one eighth and I just folded it and glued it down and I like the way it looks and then I covered up some of it with the little scalloped border there and then I cut this piece out to add there the flowers like I said they're from the scrap diva um, one of the scrap diva flowers um, die set I'll look for it and attach it in the description and then these are just some stamps that I had and then I made a cute little sign as you can see and use more of the coins there so fun you guys so many different ideas to create with so definitely head over to scrapdivadesigns.com if you guys want to pick up any of these sets that will be available may 1st and thank you so much for watching i hope to um, give you guys some ideas to how to put this together and you know create your own different little cart so thank you so much for watching bye